Absolutely. So generating marketing content is a really strong use case for generative AI. And it's one um, that we see a lot of retail customers using, but not only retail right. customers across, you know, all the different industry uh, teams that that we support. And um, again, when you're when you're thinking about AI and, and, you know, it's it's really good to first identify, as we said before, your use case. Right. And, and once you've identified the use case and in, in this case, uh, generating marketing content, as you say, it's good then to ask what are you know, what are potential issues that that I need to think about? And so I guess breaking down, you know, what does generating marketing content mean? Often mm -hmm. it's it's generating text descriptions, mm -hmm. it's generating product descriptions, you know, it's generating uh, images, et cetera. Um, the questions that that then come from that that we get a lot that we think are important to ask is, um, all right, okay, so, I've um, I'm creating this marketing product that this what we call output content right okay and it, it's good to understand okay what is input and what is output content so input um, actually is a, a legal term in our in our product terms and input as you can imagine is what you put into the large language model right it's okay. the prompt and output content is that which the you know the everything that comes out of uh, the generative AI system. It's it's the output, and so the question that first comes again is who owns that that output content, right? Mm -hmm. Is it is it mine mine the creator? I'm you know I'm the customer using say Azure OpenAI. Um, I, I've created these product descriptions, and from a Microsoft perspective, what we've done is we've tried to be very clear, is that. Uh, you know, Microsoft will not, you know, try and take uh, any ownership interest in that. We will not claim any ownership interest. So people always ask, is, you know, if it's, you know, if it's, if I create it, you know, is it's mine? And absolutely, you, you know, you can use it. I think the related question is, if I create it and say I put it into a marketing campaign, what if it, what if it infringes someone else's copyright, right? What if it's similar to what other other customers, what other um, you know people in the marketplace have created, and what Microsoft has done to try and get um, our customers comfortable with using again generative AI in 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 this use case is we offer what's called the customer copyright commitment, and that really is okay. a defense obligation, right? And and the way that it works, and and this is laid out in our in our online product terms, which we can share a link to is if a third party you know makes a claim against you mm -hmm. saying that the output content that you've created infringes their intellectual property say their copyright we will defend you um against that that claim okay um, one of the you know mm. one of the interesting things i guess also about generative ai though is it's really a shared responsibility so Yes, Microsoft will defend you against in, any third party claims. Um, you know, as a, as a user of the generative AI, you also um, have to think about, okay, what am I going to be doing with, you know, with it? Right. Um, do I have, do I have rights in the input that I'm putting into the generative AI mm -hmm. system, right? Which will influence the, the output. So you, you as the user have to have, you know, the rights to, to use the, the input, um, generative AI, and, and you know, when, whether you're talking about our Microsoft Copilot products or, or Azure OpenAI, you know, have systems in place, right? They have content technical systems. They have content filters. Um, they have meta prompts, which is another term uh, to talk about. Meta prompt is a rule um, that the that you put in place that the generative AI system follows, and and the meta prompt might be as simple as do not return copyrighted material. Got so it. as as a user, you can't go in and um, disable any of that sort of technical fun functionality, which is helping to protect you, the user, and 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 Microsoft as well. Um, and yeah, I mean, those those are really two of the key questions: who owns the output, um, and you know, will will Microsoft uh, d defend me?